What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be going over five things to consider before you purchase any sneakers or clothing. I mean, these are things that we recently realized. You do not want to overlook these. Do not overlook these. Let's get right into the first one. <laughs> Alright, so you know we gotta start this off with some sneakers. You oh, know, yeah. recently I purchased the Tiffany Air Force Ones, and this came about. What does the sneaker actually look like after you wear them? And does it really support the image of that sneaker? You know that's what I mean? That's very true. I mean, when you think of a Tiffany Air Force One, Tiffany in general, that's very, very clean-cut brand. Mm. You don't really want to mess those up in a way. Those exactly. almost feel like they should be displayed in a nice case. Exactly. The Tiffany's are so pristine, it yeah. almost makes you want to preserve them. I that's don't know true. if wearing them and getting all the creases on them really helps you know what I that's mean? that's why i like the uh the recent sb jordan mm. fours because as clean as those are you wear them more times uh, it's gonna give that character something's gonna bring out to it because right now it looks pretty fresh so yeah. the more times you wear them you're gonna get that that sb yes. look you know the, the trend them, of the reimagine right now wearing them almost supports what they're trying to go for in that look one sneaker that actually changed throughout the years are the all white air force ones oh, of course you know like remember when everybody used to keep them super crispy <laughs> one two wears max Rich. max no creases uh super white and everything look, nowadays you got people wanting to kind of beat them up exactly i blame all the everyone at TikTok recently, man. Exactly. It's just kind of just making that classic white shoe the one that just it's okay to make it just look dirty. And to me, I think we should go back to just how the Air Force One should be. Just really? one five time wear <laughs> max that's it man keep those things as fresh as you can all right so wrapping up point one just before you buy a sneaker really consider what they will look like after they are worn and um answer the question are they for you very true very true all right so next one up man is standard cargos versus non-standard this is mm. very important i see a lot of people just going straight to target getting your wrangler cargos and literally the pockets are very straight very, very standard looking yeah very mm. flat and everything so let's talk about this what are you looking for when you see a pair of cargos. Look here, first I'm gonna look at material. Material, it goes a long way because sometimes certain materials sit just differently. That's why for us with sure. ROC, we kind of have it. the nylon yes. or like the more breathable uh, uh, cotton where it kind of gives you a little bit more stress, the ripstop fabrics. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the fabric, I feel like certain ones that are kind of stiff give it that whole straight vibe. Look, where it almost comes off looking like trousers with pockets. It trousers There's with no pockets. There's no flair to it. Chinos with pockets. Chinos yeah. with pockets. That's, That's a, a really one thing great you do point. not want to do. Yeah, just try to find some pants that have unique elements yep. as well, like some zippers at the bottom, some uh, straps. But it is important not to go overboard. I was just going to say, when it comes to details, though, Rich, what is too much? If it looks like you're about to jump off a plane and a parachute's coming out your pants, oh, so it's too, too tactical. much. Like too, tactical. too many straps hanging out and everything, then it's too crazy. There's got to be some sort of balance is what we're trying to get across. Good point, because, I mean, too tactical, you just kind of shine away from the actual streetwear look of the cargo. Yeah, and one thing that I really look for when I do shop for a pair of cargos are just the side pockets right there and how much they stick out. Yes. If they are too flat, but I like, like, the pants and everything, I'll literally just stick some stuffing in the um, pockets. I mean, that's a good of, hack. Yeah. That's a good hack. That's sometimes what we do in the lookbook sometimes. Sometimes, you know, packaging, yeah. fresh out the packaging, opening it up, it does kind of come off Too a little fresh. bit flat. So yeah. just add a little, like, like I like putting a uh, Kleenex tissue paper. Yeah, exactly. You know, just in case a, you Just know. a slad bit, you know, and it can become useful at the end yeah. of the night. Very you know? true. Very you true. You blow your nose or whatever. In the recent hype talk that I did, I was wearing regular cargos, but I stuffed the side pockets. People were asking I about those. I've seen everyone commenting about those. Yeah. So just uh, goes to show you a little hack that you guys could do to make your pants look a little bit more dynamic. Yeah. That wraps it up for point number two. Definitely keep in mind standard versus non-standard looking cargos. All right. So with the warmer seasons coming up, this one is very important right here. No quarter socks ever. Brother, brother, brother. You haven't hit that button in a long time, long time man. Long time. I feel like that was very important to address because when it comes to sock cuts in general, you either go high with the crews or you go no shows with the ankle socks. Low ankle, yeah. When it comes to the quarter ones, the little in betweener, <laughs> hey, hey, we that's call a those, no go, man. Wait, no, no, fan, we call those the Austin Reeves. Oh, Austin Reeves. That is a look, shout out to Austin Reeves. He's been killing it. There's nothing that you could do about them, Rich. It's just too in between. They're kind of like Jordan mids. They're the mids of socks. Like, if it was wow. any sock cut that needs to be just cut, it needs to be the quarter. That was socks, man. I don't want to see nobody deep. rocking those, That man. was deep. We don't get too deep on this, uh, oh, you know, just man. channel, but that was deep right there. So there's highs, which are Jordan 1 highs. There's lows, but the mids, man. you never seen them come out with no fire You know what would be crazy? Mid -socks. Rock, some, rock some mid socks with the mids. That'd be fire. That would be crazy <laughs> because 
with the mid, because you know how bad the cut of mid Jordan ones are. <laughs> It'll just complement the hey, mid quarter socks so start well. Something new, start something new. I don't know, man, but uh, no quarter socks, None. aka the mids, right there. We need those uh, golf. Man, it's just it's just funny. All right, guys, let us know what you guys think of this. The quarter, aka the Gotta mid cut, cut up, socks. Let me know. Uh, let's move on to the next point. Woo, so you know fitted hats are ultra popular right now. So a lot of people are dissecting where they are getting made, what manufacturers, you know, people are getting really, really picky about them. And uh, one thing to consider when you're purchasing a fitted, is it made in Bangladesh mm -hmm. or China? Those are the two biggest manufacturers of fitteds. And uh, we got to talk about why. Look, look, believe it or not, as big as New Era is. Yeah. When it comes to where the hats are actually being made, it's a huge difference when it comes to the fit yes, and the shape. Exactly. So a lot of people really prefer Bangladesh-made hats over China due to the shape of the hat. A lot of people think that China looks like an egg. Ooh, like almost I hear has that a lot. It's like less shape. square, like yeah. So always, you could just look right here on the tag. It'll be the second line on the tag to see where they are manufactured. And uh, you know where a lot of people are um, kind of getting confused huh. is they'll have like an original release made in Bangladesh that has a nice shape, mm. but then the retro or the remake will be made in China. Those actually go for way less Man. than the ones, the original ones. You so know? it almost seems like in China they're using those factories to mass produce more. Yes, and then when the fit is weren't as hot when they used to make them in Bangladesh at small quantities, yeah. the quality was better. The quality the shape was, was better. better. The shape was better. I mean, I noticed it myself when I put on the fitted. Uh, it definitely has a different shape based off where it's manufactured. Look, so. uh, it's one thing when you get a fitted hat and it just doesn't fit or you have to get one, one fourth and one seventh and one one eighth. Yeah. It's like, it's great. They all need to be the same shape. <laughs> and fit man yeah all right guys so just something to consider when you are buying fitteds definitely look at where it is manufactured yep. and do not overpay for the ones made i mean we're not saying they're like terrible yeah but, uh, just or, or at least stick to the bangladesh ones or stick to the china ones if that you way like you're that getting look. the same fit yeah. every time all right let's move on to the next point all right so last but not least a lot of people are paying attention to the cut of t-shirts yep. whether it's the drop shoulder whether or how long it is if it's a boxy fit but one thing you always want to consider especially as of late is the collar and how it is cut and Man, stitched. Man, I'm not going to lie. Before this video, I never really took that into consideration mm. when it came to buying, like, my tops you have to man because there's so many different colors nowadays that almost changes the framing of your face and very you know, true, like there's very low true. cut there's ones that are too tight like talentless recently i oh, bought yeah. a t-shirt that thing was like collar not only is it thick but it's actually could like almost choking it you was out. like super tight and it almost made my neck look super skinny and everything yeah. here this is why i kind of like wearing like the like the bowling shirts or like the uh, lounge wear shirts you know the collar ones because yeah, yeah. it kind of gives you that look of having kind of a looser collar it makes you look buffer too a lot a lot of people oh, are yeah. saying the pectorals is definitely poking out you're showing more of like your neck and mm. it just looks like collarbone yeah yep. your collarbone and everything uh i don't know i i feel like there are just t-shirts right now that just have way too tight of true, collars true and i'm not liking them but but well, what i will say though when it comes to those tight collars you could always loosen them up because Very i'd rather true. have a tight collared shirt Ooh. than a loose one because you can't reverse the loose one true, true but when true. it comes to a tight one you could kind of do stretch a little of adjusting out. stretching yeah. it out because there's a lot of t-shirt brands out there that have don't fire logos in the front yeah but sometimes people just be like, I just can't get out the t-shirt. Yeah, and the same thing that Tan is bringing up as far as loosening the collar, you could also do it in the armpit area of t-shirts. It's one thing that I exactly. told Johnny one time. It's like literally call it the chicken wing. Hold on. Mm, the chicken wing, the good old chicken wing. Like that, and you just, you know, yeah. you just stretch it Makes down. a huge difference. Like that. You know, because sometimes it, these T-shirts they have a standard cut, yeah. even though it has like a really dope, you know, streetwear vibe. It doesn't mean that the cuts on. Point. Yeah, that chicken wing trick could almost turn your shirt into a boxy fit if you Very do true. it enough. So, yeah. All right, so wrapping this one up, definitely pay attention to the collar on the T-shirt that you're about to purchase. Yes, sir. A lot of people are overlooking this, but it does matter a lot. And even if you end up buying a T-shirt that you really like that had a tight collar, at least there's ways that you could kind of yeah, fix it, stretch them out. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that five things you must consider before purchasing any sneaker or clothing huge shout out to tan make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel anything else shoot man i definitely enjoy doing these too and i feel like there's more out there that we need to discover exactly all right you know fashion's always changing exactly. always changing all right guys and until next time we out peace, peace.